Welcome back and thank you very much. This is TV3 New Day. My name is Johnny Hughes and... Uh, well, we're getting into a conversation that's dear to my heart because on the 18th of June this year, the, the International Coconut Festival was launched in Accra. This is the very first time it's going to happen in Ghana. I have been joined this morning by Ruth Mafo. She's the Acting Director of Public Relations at the Ghana Export Promotions Authority and also Kweku Boatin, the Director at the African Coconut Group. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Good morning. Thank, Thank you. you. Congratulations for bringing this big thing to Ghana. How did you do it? I'm curious to learn, Kweku. Oh, well, uh, thanks very much to viewers and uh, the whole Ghanaian population. Like I always said, we have been saying, we, we are aware of uh, 24th of April mm. 2019 when His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nanadu Dan Kweku Fado, launched the PED program. Mm. As part of the strategic pillars of PED, we have the business support units mm. where the public sec uh, private sector is giving that mandate to team up with government to drive the agenda of His Excellency the President forward. This brought the uh, African Coconut Group mm. and then the Made in Ghana International Coconut Festival. So upon reaching out to uh, co-organizers, GIPA, we thought of uh, a best way to push this program forward mm. and make Coco Ghana a coconut hub and also explain to the Populace of Ghana, mm -hmm. the enormous benefits of coconut mm -hmm. and how best we could equate to the economic uh, issues of Ghana as mm -hmm. well as job creation, especially uh, among the youth okay. and then the women of this country. Ruth, why is this so special to GEPA? I mean, coconut of all things. <laughs> right, thank you very much. Um, for GEPA, which is an organization under the Ministry of Trade and Industry, mm -hmm. mandated to promote and and focus on the diversification of exports in okay. Ghana. So um, non-traditional exports, I must add. So anything apart from your cocoa, beans, in its raw states, oil, um, timber and logs, mm. anything that you put your hands to do, then we, we can export. Okay. So when um, African Coconut Group reached out to us and said we're bringing about the International Coconut um, Festival, we thought mm. this is a good platform to promote this cash crop because we know that it's a functional food and mm. when we say functional right from the roots of the um, tree to okay. the leaves okay every bit of it can be used okay so it's really um, a beneficial crop as we see it mm. and we can make huge amounts of money out okay. of it mm. and so we thought the wise that it should be promoted mm. so that a lot more people know that it's not just coconut water okay and the pulp that you need you can make thousands of things out of coconut. The, the last time I heard the figures, I was startled, some $2 billion mm -hmm. to be made from this. Mm -hmm. How does the ordinary Ghanaian, you know, uh, benefit from, from this? I mean, you're bringing a festival here, mm -hmm. you're talking about the benefits, mm -hmm. but the kwacha, how much do they get from it? So, um, I may not be able to tell you that, okay, you would get a thousand CDs if okay. you do this, but okay. um, when we look at the math, I mean, Kweku will be able to t uh, break it down into hectares and all okay. that, but okay. right from the, um, I mean, looking at it, we are saying that you're not just talking about coconut water. Indeed, this platform is going to showcase what you can use coconut from, um, for in its entirety. Okay. So this is the place where you can actually see the various uses that you can put mm. um, coconut to. And that's why it would be beneficial to the ordinary man who wants to venture into some business. If it's okay. money making mm. that he wants to make, this is where you would see where you can actually use the husk for fiber um, um, apparel okay. or you can use the nut itself for mm. furniture. Mm. So it's just new streams of income that you can okay. bring to the ordinary person. Yes. So let's talk about the event proper, you know, when and where are we having the, the event? Yes, the event event is scheduled for the 24th to the 26th of uh, this month, okay. 2019, at the Accra International Conference right. Center. Right. Yes. And the theme for the mm. event is promoting export diversification okay. through a robust Ghanaian coconut industry. Mm. As my mm. partner rightly said, the ordinary Ghanaian will benefit both directly and indirectly. Okay. This program <coughs> seems to create jobs, mm. direct and indirect jobs. We are talking about agritourism. Okay. So it's a way to boost our tourism potential. Right. Okay. We are talking about the local farmer being linked to the international market to mm. become globally competitive. We are talking about making them factory certified so mm. that they could they could also compete with the Filipinos, the okay. Indonesian staffs. We are talking about businesses, okay. businessmen, the banks supporting mm. our local farmers so that they could also what make ends meet. 
We are talking about bridging the gap of mm. rural urban migration. Mm. We are talking about bridging uh, the issues of Galamse because one way mm. of curbing these issues is to either plant coconut or oil palm, which has alternative uses. Right. Interesting. Uh, so now the we've heard the positives. I'm looking at a coconut seller on the streets. We meet them. Uh, they crack the coconut for us. We enjoy the juice. Uh, we enjoy their flesh. We pay them two cities, and that's it. Beyond that, what is GEPA looking at to support the coconut sector? So um, before this um, event, we realized that even with the coconut um, um, industry, you, we had issues with mm. um, infests, um, uh, diseases with the tree. So then we thought that, well, we should support okay. the sector with even, um, quality seedlings. Okay. So sometime in March last year, 60,000 seedlings were given to um, selected coconut farmers to grow it so that okay. those are more disease resistant mm. and then beyond that we are also facilitating the acquisition of the global cap certificate okay. so that's for good agricultural practices okay. that's the certification you need mm. if you want to export right. um, outside right. so those are some of the things that would enable the farmers or the ordinary coconut farmer to escalate I mean scale up yes 24, 26 is going to happen quickly. Contact, contact now, uh, quickly uh, because our time is up. Yes. Until the Godfather is around. Yes. So, uh, uh, with the contact numbers, anybody who wants to exhibit, show a product, come to the seminars, okay. or have a B two B, just come to TV three, and then uh, my brother here will put the numbers on the screen. You're putting for you. me in trouble. Yes. <laughs> Don't put me in trouble. If you have a phone number, I'm sure you should share it quickly so that we can we can make yes, progress. You, you here. can call Kwekubwa. Uh, 0246 mm. 047344 for all enquiries okay, regarding down, the festival. Slow down, slow down, slow yeah. down. Slow down. <laughs> Say it again. You can call Kwekubuatin on 0246 uh, 047 Okay. For all enquiries. Great. Thank you, Ruth. Grateful for your time. Ruth Mafo is the much. acting director of uh, public relations at the Ghana Export Promotion Authority, and Kwekubuatin is the director in charge of the African Coconut Group. They're bringing you the very first edition of the International Coconut Festival, which hit that had been happening elsewhere, but now we're bringing it here. So what it means is that the world is converging here in Accra on the 24th through to the 26th of September to, to showcase uh, what we have to show uh, them about our coconut industry and what prospects we could lean and glean from it and how much money we can draw from it to make our lives better. We'll stay